Hi. So I've literally just stopped the video. We've just done this last one. Um, we're working through some ephemera for our journal. If you haven't seen the first of these um, two videos that will be coming out together, this is our journal. Um, a big chunky monkey. And we are making some ephemera. Now, I, well, I've made the ephemera. We are embellishing ephemera. So I've made a whole stack of it. And I'm just going through and adding some little finishing touches, bits and pieces, trims, fabrics, laces, um, just to give them a bit of interest. And yeah, that's that. So back to it then. I'm trying to keep my videos under half an hour because I feel like they just get a little bit long and laborious. And um, yeah, and the editing time takes a while as well. So I am trying to be sort of conscious of that too. Anywho, I'm just going to grab a couple of... Eyelets. I thought I had some in my little jar of wonders over here, but I don't seem to. So I'm just going to grab a couple of eyelets out of my big tub. If you can't see what I'm doing, I've got a huge tub of stuff. And um, sort that back out. So I'm just going to grab a few bits and pieces just to be getting on with. Just for a few tags that we've got. my so when i do my eyelets i use my um well it was called we are memory keepers i think they've called it we are memories i think now or something like that um my um helper is it called a crocodile crocodile i want to say crocodile yeah i'm going to say crocodile i think that's what it's called gosh um but yeah one of them so I've got this piece that I've um, just literally, the, uh, this is cut from the digital, this is torn from the digital, and that is some tea stain paper on the back. Um, the tea stain paper is quite thin, so I'm going to put my eyelet a little bit further down than I perhaps normally would. So punch my hole. I'm going to go for the bronzy colour to pick up on that colour in that digital. And do a little punch. And that's that. So... I think we'll have, we should have something like this. This is quite, looks like quite a good mix. We'll have that as the ribbon. And, but do I want anything else on there before we finish this piece? Because I've got lots of little scrippy scraps with me, just little bits of fabric, little bits of trim, little bits of bling. And yeah, let's see if there's anything else we want to perhaps add I've got some stamped sentiments as well using the Sam Paul stamp set that I acquired recently so I've got a little bit of that no so indecisive today what's happened do I want anything at all oh that's quite cute I might have a leaf I'm going to shove a leaf on there. There we are. Decision made. Let's have a little leaf. Now, I'm not going to stitch this on. I'm just going to use some of my three-in-one, my faux fabric tack, if you will, and plonk that on there. And then where's my... So I do this a lot, and it's because I get the glue on my hands and I can't bear the feel of it. <laughs> if anyone's ever wondered, it's like... It's not like a weird tick that I've got. Um, although I guess it probably... It kind of is, but it's... Um, yeah, just I can't stand the feel of the glue, so I do it without realising. Pull. And shall I do it? I'll tell you what, I'm going to do it this way instead. I'm going to thread them through. That way. And we'll tie a little bow, I think. A nice big long ribbon on this one. Ooh, a little bit tight there. I forget it's only paper. I'm just gonna loosen that slightly. There we go. Okay, okay. So that's another one. That's quite cute, simple. Writing space on the back. 
as I explained previously, I do like to make sure most of the time that the journals I make, the ephemera that I make is, is practical and usable. Um, I don't, I'm quite self-deprecating, I suppose, but I don't really see myself as an, as an artist as such. So I like to feel that these are functional products that I am making, functional things for people. Um, I don't, I, I, if somebody said to me, can you make me an art journal? I'd be like, well, no, I'm not. I'm not an artist. I, I couldn't possibly do that. Um, so I, yeah, um, I've never been very good at art particularly. But so I like to think that the, the books that I make are, are practical and um, useful and usable. Um, and so I like to make sure that there's as much journaling space or space for scrapbooking or whatever you want to do with your journal um, as, as possible. So I'll shut up. Um, but yeah, do you have that on there? I don't really want to go over the rows. Is that a bit big? Just a little scrap of something. It needs something. Keep going back to this. Maybe I'll do. I do like the little corner things. Should we have that and a bit of stitching? Let me do a bit of stitching. Yeah, I would never make journal pages that are just. Oh, I suppose I do, I don't know. I, I feel like I very rarely make journal pages that are just decorative and not functional, so to speak. Um, I try and make sure that there's space for, you know, once you've bought the journal, you want to use the journal. Um, I know that's not what everybody buys journals for, but kind of... That's kind of my thought behind it. What's that look like? Is that all right? I like to leave the threads on as well, but do we need something else on there? Do I need a little word or a bit of something? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I've got a really poorly stamped out sample stamps. So definitely my abilities are not those of the stamp. Shall I shove a bit of that on there? Or not? No, I think I will. I think I will. Why not? Okay, I think that's that. Sorry, one sec. Sorry, I think somebody's at my door again. Bear with. Hey, so I'm back. So sorry, somebody at the door again. Anyway, right, so we've stuck that on, and that's that one done. So that's the next piece. Right, where was I? So let's do this one. I like this one. Pretty. I love the delicate bluey colour in the back. Ah, in fact, I did want to use, if anybody saw my investigate with me um, video that I did, Grab some of these. I did want to use some of this, which was just like a little scrap of really brittle fabric that I found in this um, little bundle. And I do want, did want to use some just sort of on the back of maybe a bit of something like that. I want to be able to see it properly. Yeah, it was just a little random scrap that was just in the bundle and I just really loved the colour of it. So I might just something like that and a bit more stitching. Um, I'm not sure we really need anything else on there. So I'm just going to do a bit of stitching on this one. So just a bit at the top, a bit down the side, and so just in two bits there. And we've got our three and one. So I'm just going to sort of plonk some here-ish for the fabric. Yes, yeah, super brittle stuff, but the colour's fab. And then we'll just pop a bit on here. Just on the back. Just 
much like that, I think. And I think, oh, there we are. That one's done. Okay, so next. Now this could definitely stand to have a bit of something on it, I think. Now I obviously have tried to keep the flowers in there, but I feel like I'm going to end up covering them up now. Um, let's see, what have I got, what have I got? I always have a lot of this shape of fabric, which doesn't always go and I end up pulling it to pieces, or in this case, snipping it to pieces. No, no, no. Let's have another little rummage in this basket. Don't even know what I've grabbed here. Got a bit of this, one of those. That's pretty. Should have a little bit of that. Might just sort of do it like that, you know. Yeah, I'm just gonna stitch that on, stitch it straight on. Boom, done. Cool. Like it. Next. Ah, right, so this is one of the larger ones. Now I want to do some stitching before this goes on the back, so I'm just gonna I think stitch around here and a bit here. So just bear with. I think it just sometimes just, the stitching just finishes it off. Um, Do I want something on here? Now, we can afford to use some of the bigger pieces on this one because it is a really good size. Something like that, maybe. If you saw, oh, didn't see any of that. So, oh, so I was just playing with this and deciding that that's far too big. But if I took the top off and perhaps had it that way round, I think that might look quite cute. So I'm just going to trim this down and just to hold it in place, a little splodge of that move my strings out of the way and I think kind of like that and then we'll back it on there I like that I don't know if I'd always also want one of these but I don't know if I'm going a bit too far then so we've also got a bit of this or a bit of this. That might look quite cute. Let's let's stitch this on first and see what we're doing. So I'm just going to run a zigzag stitch all the way along. And that sort of holds that for me. And then... Do I want a little bit of that as well? Or I've got a pinky tip now. Like that one. I might have a bit of this. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna overstitch that with just the zigzag stitch just to take it, which it will. Good sewing machine. There. 
and then I'm just going to run a straight stitch all the way around. So bear with me. I'm going to start at this bottom edge, I think, and just just to back it, and then we're good to go with this one, I think. Like that i like the really big oversized ones i think they're really cool um we did a couple of these which i'm literally i won't do these on camera i'm just going to stitch around the edge of those and i'm just going to leave them as they are i think i think unless i put a little see i say that and then i change my mind about some of this some of the cream stuff shall i put a little bit of that on you look like yeah you look quite cute yeah right all right i'm going to shove a bit of that on there i lied and then i'm going to stitch around just oh shut up just a little bit of lacy lace lace and then we'll stitch around that one um let's see what else have we got so I've got some of these where I've you I've kept the edge of the um the paper and I I really like that and I don't really want to lose that. So whether I put something on here or not, maybe a sentiment, maybe a, a one of these. Perhaps not the butterfly, but I do have secret garden. I oh, quite like that. Yeah, let's have Secret Garden on there. I'm just going to trim that scrappy bit off. Yep, yeah, like that. I love the typewriter font on these stamps. They're really nice. Cool. Like that. And that's from the, um, the Beautiful Blooms kit, that one. So should we do one more and then call it a day? I did say it was, we, we wouldn't do all of them because we could be here forever. Oh no, in fact, I'll do I'll do one more of these and then I am going to do one more other thing with you. Um, so this is one of the sort of postcard pieces. So you can journal on the front and on the back of this. So I'm, I'm, I'm liking that. Um, I don't know whether I want a bit of something else on the bottom though. side perhaps am i going to regret cutting this we'll find out oh can't see again donna Move it up. do you know i thought i'd sit, i put this mat so you could bloody see everything um i don't know what do you think to that is that working or something else perhaps um, what else do I see I've got some some purple could we have a bit of purple maybe a bit of purple I mean it doesn't go with anything but you know could still have a bit of purple yeah alright let's do that Let's do that. I will stitch around this one as well. So that's just to hold it in place. And I think there for that. Right, let me just run a stitch around this. I'm going to do it all the way around the outside of the digital bit, not the tea paper. So there's going to be a bit of a gap. 
for it. It'll just hold it in place and sort of frame it, I think. So I've done it just around the edge of this because there'd be no point in just doing it on that. And then I think, where'd you go? There you are. And I think I'm gonna add a bit of this on because I like it. Oh, that's bunched up a little bit, but we'll run with that. Just gonna hold that on a second. Oh, I can't stand it. There we are. Like that one? Uh, right, so I've pulled out my little tub and this is the remainder of the lace masterboards. So what I thought I might do is perhaps see if any of these that I've made, that perhaps if they're any bit more simple, if they might fit on one of the masterboards maybe that would be quite a nice it'd have to be a small one though i feel like i probably used the best ones up actually so maybe something like this i could just tear this down and then um... Do you think? Let's go for it. So I'm just going to tear that like that. I might massively regret this, but never mind. It's the beauty of the digital. And I might have something like this. I still have these left, so oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, I think I'll do that one. I think these these will be nice to include then. So I'll do that. I think I'll stitch that on and then I'll back it because that's quite cute. I also have another one of these. So you're quite large. Let's try and just tear this down a bit. This one, that's quite sweet with a little bit of pink popping out. Yeah, I think we'll have that one, that one. And shall we do one more? Quite determined to use this one. Yeah, right. I'm just going to stitch these on the back of them and then I will come back. It won't be long. Okay, so that's done. So we've backed and I added a little sort of tabby tab on that one. And then the roses, again, we've backed and I've added this on. And the house, I added the other half of that little ruffle on because I just thought that finished that off quite nicely and I like the cream picking up with the, with the cream colours. Right, um, cool, so that's that. I think then... The next video will be a flip through. So I'm going to finish embellishing these um, and I'll catch you later. Um, like and subscribe. Bye.